troubles ahead for Anju resources as Chinese steel producers flood the market. The company says that it is forced to delay their regional expansion plans for 2015 and it is adopting a defensive strategy going forward. Group Managing Director Dato Lim Hong Tai says that the company had initially planned to expand to Southeast Asia and move downstream to produce higher grade products by 2016. We have planned to expand to the region as stated clearly in our vision and mission statement. Uh, but we were forced to slow down because of the influx of China is to the whole nation, whole region, and with this uh, unlevel playing field. China Iron Steel Association forecasts that China will export more than 100 million tons of steel to the world this year. As of first quarter 2015, Malaysia's steel bar imports from China jumped by 226 percent, wire rod imports rose by 102 percent. Dumping can never last. If the China mill are not making money, how long more can they continue to produce at full? Things will have to turn somewhere. If we continue to position ourselves as the most efficient and lowest cost producer in this nation, in this region, not just in Malaysia, we believe when the thing turn, that is where we can get back our investment. At this moment, all we can do is defensive. The company's net profits fell 57.5% in the first quarter to 5.3 million ringgit. At market close, the stock was trading at 1 ringgit and 1 sen, up 1%, with a market capitalization of 505.6 million ringgit. Xi'an Shannon, The HTV.